Yo, 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 it's the Millionaire Trader. I was even checking in, guys, and we're going to do analysis on Great British Pound USD. But first of all, guys, I want you to smash that like button, hit that notification bell, and also hit that subscribe button. All right? Also, leave me a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. So right now we got downside movement, guys. Y'all know uh, we had a very, this is a very, this is a lot of momentum in the market, here, guys. This is a lot of momentum in the market. We may have a, a slowdown here, but I, it's not going to be much of a slowdown, guys. So right now we have a uh, news come out eight thirty. Uh, GDP, advanced GDP comes out. We have more news that comes out of unemployment claims every week. Y'all know these are weekly, uh, weekly things that normally happen. Those weekly news, weekly index that you uh, can gather numbers from and gather data from and pretty much help you with your trading, with your fundamentals as far as, you know, as, far as the trading goes. And we also have news coming from out the core CPI uh, comes out tomorrow. So. We have we have different factors that can continue to help push this market. So right now, so we got the next two. So the next two hours is gonna be paramount, guys. Depending on what these these next uh, this this uh, candle happens here, because this is our candles, guys. So at six o'clock, we're gonna depend on what this these next uh, two candles do. I think it, if there is any momentum that wanna you know. Give us a little pullback. I'm not expecting much of a pullback, guys, if it decides to pull back at 830. Right now, the market continues to push down, so we may get a bit of a pushback, pullback. High as I expected to go, if it does pull back, guys, is here. 50%. Here. We see here. If it pulls back. At 8:30, guys, if, if we get positive news and we get a a, a little bit of a, a shift in the dollar, we'll get a move to the upside and we'll get a bounce here. Right now, but everything everything that I've confirmed, this market is gonna continue to sell to the end of the week, guys. So uh, I I say use whatever strategy you use for as entry goes at this point. And continue to sell this market to the end of the week, guys. Uh, next week will be a very interesting week. Uh, I really haven't looked into what the schedule has available next week, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so we have a lot of uh, news coming out next week. Uh, pound news. Yeah, we, this next week is going to be a very interesting week, guys. So we may possibly get a turnaround or possibly something that really pushes the market. To the downside so right now we got a lot of strong movement and we're going to see if, if the great british crown is going to uh continue that sentiment this is this on thursday guys thursday will be a very very important day as far as trading this trading here so we have we definitely have you know some more money to be made here guys more money to be made here as of right now, we're, the market is bearish, and there's nothing that's telling me that this thing is bullish yet. So right now, use your entry techniques on far as uh, making sale orders and putting in sell, getting in the better, best entry for a sale. I exited this trade, so I will be looking for an, another entry to the market. But... My analysis, guys, is it's still bearish until that news come out next week. I'll let you can check it out.